hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today our topic is is insurance mandatory in norway so is insurance mandatory in norway basically okay so is travel insurance required from norway travel insurance is mandatory if you need a Schengen visa for Norway, if you don't need a visa, travel insurance is optional but strongly recommended as medical cost can be high for uh, foreigners, especially as you will need to pay for any uh, prescriptions. So, uh, membership of national insurance, obligatory and voluntary travel insurance for Norway, insurance laws and uh, regulation in Norway. So, insurance uh, requirement in Norway vary depending on the type of insurance you're asking about uh, here. Uh, here, uh, basically, here are some key here are basically uh, some key type of insurance and their status in Norway. Let's suppose uh, car insurance. If you own a motor vehicle in Norway, it is mandatory to have liability insurance. And you know, that covers any damage you can cause to other in traffic accidents. This is a legal requirement. Uh, if I talk about the health insurance, Norway has a public health care system that is primarily funded through taxes. As a residential, you are entitled to necessary health care services and you don't need private health insurance for basic medical care. However, some people choose to get supplementary private health insurance for the faster access to certain treatments or to cover additional expenses. And if you talk about the in-home insurance, uh, basically uh, home insurance is to, you know, uh, while not legally mandatory, home insurance is often recommended for homeowners in Norway to protect against unexpected events like fire, theft, or natural disaster. If you have a mortgage, your lender may require you to have home insurance uh, what do you think about travel agencies and you know uh, travel insurance travel insurance is not mandatory but it's often a good idea when travel to cover unexpected events like trip cancellations medical emergencies or lost languages life insurance is uh, not mandatory in norway but some individuals choose to purchase it uh, to provide financial protection for their families in case of their death. If we talk about the unemployment insurance, membership in Norway labor or warfare administrator and AB typically provides unemployment benefits while not technically insurance, it functions in a similar way to provide economic security during unemployment. It's important to know that while certain type of insurance are legally required, others are optional, but they can provide financial protection and peace of mind. If you have specific question about insurance requirement, you can, you know, just ask me here. Okay, effect of uh, uh, misrepresentation and non-disclosure for insurance agreement. Regulated by the ICA, there is a general obligation on the insured to provide information to the insurance company before and during the policy period. Before policy issues, the insurer can ask for more information which is relevant to evaluate the risk. The insurer is obligated to provide the insurer the, uh, with correct, complete answer upon costing. This question can be presented as a questionnaire or in other written form, but this is not a requirement. In principle, the duty of disclosure does not include an obligation for the uh, insured and disclose information and solid state. 
However, the insurer is obliged, given unsolicited information about special circumstances, which the insurer cannot be expected to ask about. If the insurer understands that the information is significant from the insurance company risk assessment, during the policy period, there is no general duty to destroyer. The insured is, however, required to rectify any incorrect or incomplete information given for the information of contract and to inform about new or charge conditions. If the insured have breached the duty to disclose information of significance, the insurer can terminate the insurance contract with 14 days notice. This applies even if the insured cannot be blamed for the misinformation if the insured has acted dishonest. The insurer is also entitled to terminate other contracts with the insured with the immediate effect. If an insurance event has occurred, the misrepresentation or non-disclosure gives the insurer the opportunity to refuse the insured compensation under the insured agreement. Uh, this must, however, be notified within specific time limits. Also, when filing a claim, the insured is uh, obligated to provide the insurer and the uh, you know available information documentation which is necessary to evaluate the claim if the insured uh, deliberately gives incorrect or incomplete information with the knowledge that this can lead to receiving insurance which is not uh, entitled the uh, insured can lose or lose any claims against the insurer related to the incident the insurer is then also entitled to terminate the policy with one week's notice so uh, effect of breach of warranty and uh, condition um, precedent the insurer can uh, the insurer can make a reservation in three situations firstly if the insurer is prevented from obtaining information about um, certain circumstances reservation about discharge from liability related to the to these circumstances can be made secondly uh, reservation uh, about discharge from the entity can relate to a specific condition relevant to the risk. The reservation is not valid unless the insured either has a positive knowledge of the reservation or the reservation is stated in the agreement. Thirdly, a reservation about the reduction of liability can be made of the premium calculation is explicitly made depending on how the insurance object is abused. And there has been a change which grant a higher premium. Consequences of late notification uh, the insured is uh, obliged to notify the insurer without undue delay when an insurance event has occurred. If the insurer has not been notified for an insurer claim within one year after the insured become aware of the facts, which sustainabilities in the claim the insured losses the right to compensation there is no requirement that the notification must be given in writing but the insured has a burden of proof that notification has been given so entitlement to bring a claim against an insurer According to basically ICA, an injured third party of entitled raise claim directly against a liability insurer, given them the insurance covers the insurer liability when asked both the insurer and insurer are obliged to inform the injured party of the liability insurance. If an uh, injured third party insurance says, raise a claim directly against the insurer, the insurer must notify the insurer without undue delay and keep the insurer informed about the claim proceedings where the basically 
IC is not mandatory. For example, there is a long time entitled to damages from an insurer for late payment of claims. The insured is entitled to uh, penalty interest or for late payment compensation two months after sending notification of the insurance event of the insurer and the delay is in payment is due to the insured not providing necessary information to consider the claim and uh, insured is not entitled to penalty intersect for the period of which the insurance company is awaiting for information documentation and the insecure which the company needs to handle the claim the two month rule is not uh, practical in large complex, complex claims in many cases there is often considerable amount of information to review you know, uh, the two month rule is not particular to large complex things. In many cases, there are often considerable amount in information to review. In fact, many only began emergency near the handling process. So, here's uh, basically our topic was uh, is insurance mandatory in Norway? And I, I hope I, you know, uh, guide you thoroughly. So, Thank you guys for watching my video and please like and subscribe my video after reading this. Okay, goodbye.